And we start with a crisis plaguing so many American cities. Homelessness was up 12% last year, with more than a million people across the nation living in tents, in cars, or in shelters. That number includes 111,000 children without homes. And now one state with one of the highest unhoused population rates in the country is taking action. Today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill into law which will stop homeless people from sleeping in public places. This nation's Xavier Walton is live in Miami. And Xavier, this is already getting plenty of pushback. It is, and you know, it really depends on who you talk to, Nicole. We were at that press conference just a few minutes ago, about a 20 minute drive to hear where we are. We actually caught up with the Homeless Empowerment Assistance Team uh, here in Miami. They just got done um, speaking to a few homeless folks and then kind of clearing the area out so they can sanitize the streets. I wanna show you um, video of what this area actually used to look like before. And then we're gonna talk about exactly why um, Governor Ron DeSantis, as you see this video, um, is hoping to address, you know, with this new piece of legislation. The goal, he says, is to be proactive before Florida turns into other states, and more specifically, he called out California, New York, where the number of homeless people has skyrocketed in recent years. The bill signed today, um, just within the last uh, hour and a half or so by Governor DeSantis, bans homeless people from setting up camp or sleeping on public property across the state. Counties are going to have the power to mark areas for homeless people to camp for a full year. That's the max under the bill. All of this, of course, has to be approved by the State Department of Children and Families. Um, here's Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on why this needs to become law. We have to govern this state and our communities with an eye towards what's the be what's in the best interest of the law-abiding citizen, what's in the best interest of families who are trying to raise kids, what's in the best interest of our seniors who are here to retire, that's what it's got to be. And too often, it's like people in other states and other cities around that are not doing well, it's like they let the inmates run the asylum. That doesn't work. Uh, you have to make sure that everything we're do is geared to that quality of life public safety. Those are those are non negotiable. So Nicole, you asked me about this right off the top. Critics believe this is really just an attempt to put the homeless population in one space out of public view. Some skeptics like Senator Victor Torres out of Orlando says, you know, more harm than good will result from this legislation. There are roughly ah, 30,000 homeless people who call Florida home. This law actually goes into effect um, beginning on October 1st. And Nicole, you know what? Um, within just the last 15 minutes, this area was actually full of homeless people, but that group, that organization, part of Miami Police, came out here and they directed them um, to assistance and a shelter that is just right up the street. All right, Xavier Walton, live for us there in Florida. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.